Kelly, is you active? Yeah. Yeah. Turn to the motherfucking yeah. function. Yeah. Oh boy, you feel me? Got a cast of grimy characters with me, but we're gonna get straight into the action. Holding it down on the right hand side, representing Detroit, Michigan, and OG Veterano in the game. My player partner, who is you? What up, man? Eastside Detroit, Marv One. Let's go. Yeah. Clap for him. Yeah. Give it up. Give it up. You feel me? Many accolades in the game. Yo, make some fucking noise for Marv One right now. Yeah. 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 That's right, that's right, Costo. And on my left hand side, you feel me? Saddam Hussein's motherfucking nephew himself. It's my house party! Disaster, what's up, man? We out here, man. We about to kill this shit. Let's go, All right, man. All right, we just did the coin toss. Crack city, bitch. We just did the coin Crack toss, city. and the result is... Yep, sounds good. Yo. Disaster, it's on you. Yo, I need everybody to be quiet for this, man. No talking. If you're going to talk, go, go back there and shit. All right, look. Yo. If there's any kids outside, close your eyes, because I'm about to kill Barney. And anybody with you could get hit, even your bitch could get pilled. Bill Cosby. <laughs> you try to do a drive-by on me, I'ma catch you first while you sit shoddy, dog. I'ma catch your big body, leave you slumped up in that big body with your big body looking like Big's body. Damn. It's gonna be hard to digest this disastrous defeat. This shit you spit his ass cheeks from all the trashy shit you eat. So when you said you had some hard shit in store, I knew that's because your intestinal tract is jammed up and your shit's been backed up for a week. If I hear anything about how your Desi popped, then you getting clocked and another two hits from out of nowhere like Fetty Wap. Yo, I'm the best out. I'm the best out. I'm the best out, bar none. You can't even name a battle that Marv won. He's washed up. He's not even the same person that Marv was, and I know what's wrong, cuz you look more like Rick Ross than Rick Ross does. Yo. <laughs> but I'm not gonna hate. People be asking, how can he accept so many battles with just a small margin of dates? The answer is simple. Marv is used to having a lot on his plate. <laughs> Can't even remember the last time he's gotten laid. Get in a bitch's pants, he won't bother, but he probably danced with his own father, cuz Marvin's gay. And that's not, <laughs> hey, yo. And that's not even song related. Even when he eats his food, Marv's a racist. Next time he drops a tape, he'll probably name it the chocolate cake mix. Yo, yo, he wants to act like he's on some gang shit. Look at his body language. You don't want to rob no bank. You want to rob a banquet. Yo, yo, he loves his women like his chicken, tender thighs. He sticks his dick in then the pussy spits out a large Coke with an extra fries. He likes his... Bitches big belly wide, hella fucking wide, the heifer type. He loves his bitches in every size except for exercise, yo. <laughs> got me up against another obese battler. He got it marked down to eat pie every single day of the week. That's a Marie calendar. Yo, yo, he once got a job as a Mickey D's manager, just so he could be the last one to stay in clean. But when people used to leave afterwards, he used to steal hamburgers. Yo, veggie burgers, turkey burgers, any type of beef burgers. When he goes to sleep, instead of counting sheep, he counts flying wing cheeseburgers. Ta! All right, round motherfucking one, let's go. Marv, it's on you. Cheeseburger. <clears throat> Daylight said, you a terrible friend. <laughs> and he said, you like a white t-shirt. I said, why would you compare that to him? He said, because he just blends in. You could fucking wear him with church shoes. You could fucking wear him with Tim's. But as soon as you see how poorly he's made, You'll never want to be anywhere near him again. So I get it. Riddle me this, Bashir. <laughs> Riddle me this, Bashir. Okay. When did you get street? You've been jamming with a lot of grapes lately. Which one of them think this shit's sweet? You got to buy all the alcohol. You got to pay for all the food that they eat. <laughs> Bitch, your people don't even kill cows. When have you seen beef? <laughs> you got a camel for your 13th birthday. <laughs> <laughs> and the bitch had three humps. <laughs> Look, I tried to fuck your mama this past Thursday. 
But I only took three pumps because the pussy is trash. <laughs> Wide enough to fit a bulldozer carrying tree stumps. <laughs> and I heard the nasty heifer than fed more niggas in the hood than free lunch. <laughs> <laughs> Tell these people how this battle was a setup. <laughs> but you'll never see me punked. They think because I'm a B.I.G. nigga in Cali that they gonna see me slumped. Uh, well, okay. my ego took this battle. You really gonna have to beat me, chump. Tell them how I had two weeks. Nigga, you been writing for me for a year and three months. <laughs> you got a notebook full of fat jokes. I do. <laughs> I do. <laughs> <laughs> But this, you only stay in the obvious. When I put this mirror in front of your posing ass, I'm gonna have you hate in the obvious. Let me hear one line in your round about how you making the chopper bus, and I'm gonna have eight arms surrounding you, like you was dating the octopus. <laughs> I don't understand, nigga, you beating me. Is you tripping? Them leather shorts you got on, nigga, is fucking up your whole religion. <laughs> So let me guess, you gonna fucking, you gonna fucking, you gonna fucking. There we go, that's it. That was funny as fuck. I'm tired. You gonna fucking, you gonna fucking leave me left in the sea. I'm fucking, fucking, you gonna hang my neck in the tree, nigga. <laughs> How am I the fat nigga, but you running out of breath before me? Oh! Oh! Don't make some noise for that first round! Yo, lately the situation in the U.S. for black folks has gotten fucking real. Mm. And I'm just trying to figure out what's the deal. Mm. How long you gonna sit back and see another brother get killed? Mm -hmm. You still proud to be American and love your country still? Mm -mm. Man, you're worse than an Uncle Tom Marv. You're an Uncle Phil. Yeah. That is crazy. <laughs> that is crazy. Yo, Shit. Yo, how is it that back in the days in Detroit, you were running the streets of 8 Mile? I'll bet my last dollar right now you can't even run in the street for 8 Mile. <laughs> yeah, that's, kind of, that's crazy. Talking about you were running your set. Yeah. Drug runs, running up on people. Mm. Any type of running you doing doesn't make sense. <laughs> Man, your fat ass would probably run out of breath if you tried to run this event. <laughs> what is this? What is, <laughs> what is this new look? The black Israelite GQ? The Hebrew obese Jew? There ain't no limit to the way he eats food. If he needs to, he'd chew through human meat too. When Mike Tyson said, I'ma eat your kids, Marv One was like, me too. <laughs> yo, 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 <laughs> let's be honest. Let's be honest, Marvin. And Cali, you get spotted often because you're always shopping at the Boston market. His, his appetite is out of this world, so every day they expect Marvin to march in. <laughs> No. That's why you'll never end up starving, Marvin. Food for you is not a problem. Most people have lemon trees and orange trees in their backyards, but Marvin got an olive garden. <laughs> yo, yo, so, stop this shit, hold on. So what you out here showing us your flabby boobies for? <laughs> Fuck WrestleMania, all you need is a mask on and you'd look like a fucking badass luchador. <laughs> Talking about you've been clapping at dudes before. The only time you got the Mac in your lap is when you Google porn. <laughs> Yo, you've been gigantic since you've been born. You're such a massive dude, if I threw your ass in a hula hoop, it would jam on you and you would just stand there looking like Saturn in human form. <laughs> Gosh, my Sunday afternoons surely suck. What you doing, Diz? Oh, not too much. Just out here fucking turning up with fucking Sherman Clump. Yo, 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 he's, yo, yo. It ain't no surprise. He's one to say. He's wore the same. He's wore the same size shirt since he's turned five. Check the tag on the. Check the tag on the reverse side. His shirt size is reverse live. Yo, he's, 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 he's one of those territorial fat guys that's hella possessive with all the things he owns. Writes his name on all the food products and the orange juice bottles that are in his home. But the fucked up part about it is Marv One lives alone. <laughs> you say, yo, if you were part, yo, 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 if you were part of Bone Thugs and Harmony, your rap name would be Chicken Bone, and then Wishbone, and Wishbone would have to change his name into Skinny Bone. Time, bitch. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Marv One, it's like you play, yo. Talk that shit. Let's go. You guys are good at this. <laughs> I need another shot. Hey, yo. Math says you hit like a bitch. <laughs> oh!
That was nice. Uh, what, nigga? I ain't say it. <laughs> Besides, that unorthodox fighting style you got don't look like nothing to play with. <laughs> but you might want to hit the gym. You might want to hit the gym. Put a little form into your bras, because I can't tell if you was trying to knock math out. Or if you was hyping up Arsenio! Oh! <laughs> it's crazy how you gonna tee off when you ain't up to par with your scrapping. I'm a legend. Nigga, I've sparred with assassin. You are one big snake. Nigga, you're Jafar from Aladdin. <laughs> All I needed was one more chance, like Big Papa, to come to the West and kill your false god. That's a stigmata. I'm from Detroit. Nigga, so the gun game crazy, but the fist proper, one punch will push your nose, will push your bones through your nose like a witch doctor. Mm. Okay. Let's switch topics. Somebody tell Costas to suck dick. Oh, shit. Nigga, my beard is the Wu logo, and Wu Tang Clan ain't nothing to fuck with. <laughs> I'm going to kill you in San Jose. I'm going to kill you, nigga. I'm going to kill you. I'm going to kill you in San Jose. You better watch who you trying, fam, because if I see you with a Cuban link, the next thing coming out is the iron, man. Oh. That's right. Wiggins. But back to you. Back to me. Okay. Nigga, you went from top five to not being mentioned at all. <laughs> to the nigga you brought around with the face tats having battles better than yours. That couldn't have been the write-up. That couldn't have been how, that couldn't have been the plan, nigga. I bet you think twice the next time before you come to the beach with sand, nigga. You Ooh. sand, nigga. <laughs> Them niggas tried to change up the rules on me. I'ma let you rap tonight. Half moon, nigga. Them dumb ass shades, you looking like Mac tonight. <laughs> And you smell like hummus. It all comes to this. Down to this. Okay, hold on. Oh, man. You better hit me. You guys ready? I'm gonna kill you. All right, check this out. Your beer, stupid Hold shit. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. Stop bickering like sluts. Oh, <laughs> Listen. You said I look like Jafar from Aladdin. But you look like the only reason you met up with me is so you could conspire to set off a bomb in Manhattan because you look like a fat black Osama bin Laden. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Really? Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I could have said Rick Ross. Again. Yeah, but, but. Uh, <laughs> <whatever. laughs> God damn. Yo. Yo, listen. I guess it's safe to say this heavy set goon ain't gonna be having any sex soon. <laughs> Recently, I heard he remodeled his tour bus as an extended bedroom, but not so he could get poo and he just needed the extra leg room. <laughs> even when he's out with a bitch on a date, he doesn't even notice the waiter delivered his plate because he's just too distracted already on the phone with Norbs and they're texting each other high definition pictures of steak. LOL, <laughs> <laughs> LOL, smiley face, this one was great. <laughs> That's so fucking funny. Even when he's with a, even when he's with a bitch trying to dig her out, food is all he could think about. Bitch will have her legs wide open, like what you waiting for? Stick your dick in and go in and out. And he's like, in and out? Oh, <laughs> Incredible. Yo, yo. Why are you laughing like this? Yo, yo, shit? yo. <laughs> yo, but don't get it twisted, y'all. This guy is thuggish. As soon as he touched down in LAX, the TSA confiscated his flight luggage and opened the bag and found out it was full of fried nuggets. Yo, there was pictures of it online, live coverage. The air marshals were dragging away a giant life-size Kentucky Fried Spice bucket with the picture of you hanging off the side of it trying to dry hump it. <laughs> fat fuck. Yo. Yo, yo, I got, yo, I got secret tactics to teach these fat kids how to completely manage their eating habits. I could teach him how to keep his balance. You ready? Put a desert eagle to his head.
head right before he eats his sandwich and give him the option to back out with his choice of either a mixed green or a Caesar salad. Yo, I could use these techniques to teach gymnastics when I hold a fishing rod above your head and dangle a piece of catfish just so I could give you the extra strength you need to complete a backflip. Yo, 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 America's number one disease is fatness, yo. And I'm the nutritionist. I came to see these fat kids like I had a degree in practice for pediatrics because every photo you've ever been in online exceeds the bandwidth. Trust me. Yo, trust me. He came all the way out from the Motor City just to find someone to motorboat his titties. Yo, how the fuck are you so how the fuck are you supposed to diss me? Your soul hurts from your porky pig feet. You got a body shaped like a giant round egg. Nanu nanu Mork and Mindy. Listen. Yo, yo, listen. Yo, listen. You can't use nothing that happened on the slaughterhouse show against me. Besides when I raided your room and left your drawers empty and stole your only Twinkie. Yo, back day back in the days, Marv one used to own a slinky. Then he found out it could go down the stairs quicker than he can, so he fucking broke it quickly. Yo, looking like Monique in her 20s. You look like the former Missy before she was skinny when she weighed like 450. Hey, bro, you look like a fucking broke Oprah Winfrey. Yo, some, someone get on the phone with Diddy and tell him that I'm battling the ghost of Biggie. Yo, never mind, it's just E-40 living. Rushing my shit. Why do I gotta rush my shit all the time? Comes down to this player. You. No, don't worry about it. I don't want you, I don't want your fake laughing. Man. <laughs> it's, not gonna be it's okay. Got Security. <laughs> Fuck. They clipped these rounds, bro. I'm good. They clipped these rounds. And I knew you had more to say. I did. On slaughterhouse, you raiding my drawers is kind of gay. <laughs> you keep food there. I don't, I don't keep food in the drawers. You get roaches like that, bro. What are you talking about? You think you slick. When the race war pop off, you don't want your store to get shot up by the niggas. So now you doing shit like buy one, get one free flaming Hots and three, four dollar Swishers. Now you, now you got all the bitches involved. You selling Yaki and Remy to the sisters. Acting like you know our struggle. Letting us use our bridge card to buy cigarettes and liquor. Well, fuck you, Habibi. <laughs> you can go straight to hell because the great pop is always flat and the ho-hos is always stale. You got a new order last week. No, you didn't. It's stale. <laughs> I would take a fifth of bourbon Get rid of it in a hurry. Right after I take a piss in your turban <laughs> and a shit in your curry. I wish I could rebuttal this. <laughs> <laughs> but you can't because you went first. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> when they pull out the red carpet for me, it's because I'm somebody to see. When they pull out the red carpet for D, it's strictly because he got somewhere to be. <laughs> That's funny. It's funny. Speaking of Drake, <laughs> speaking of Drake, Nunu Nail says, "Stop trying to fuck her, man." No, really, get out of her inbox. She wants you to stop trying to fuck her, man. <laughs> Word on the street is, <laughs> you paid your niggas 10 bands to protect you. Five, how much was it, five, was it five? <laughs> he paid you, nigga. Word on the street is you paid your men a couple of dollars to protect you. That'll be some sucker shit. Well, Diz, well, Diz, you don't have enough money to make a real nigga respect you. Cassidy said, thanks for the money. That is no type of slanders. I haven't seen one man Give a nigga that much chicken since Colonel Sanders. <laughs> Doesn't it? Uh. <laughs> I love this new you. <laughs> <laughs> I love this new you. <laughs> it's so great when you try to seem hard, I guarantee that you turn into the bitch nigga you are if I asked you for a green card. An American passport. No, you don't. <laughs> You're an alien. Donald Trump says you don't belong here. <laughs> Y'all thought Diz could beat me up. <laughs> the fuck is you crazy, dude? I'm a real Detroit nigga. Yeah. 
And I just brought them 380s through, and the last thing he gonna see is that, damn, I got a Lakers hat on. But fuck it. <laughs> Look what you made me do. <laughs> hey!